everybody, it's Bunny, and today we are gonna be doing another mystery box unboxing. And in fact, it's another We Bargain mystery unboxing. A week ago, I tested out my first ever We Bargain box, my first ever unclaimed mail box. So I don't wanna kind of like go over the same <laughs> stuff again about like we bargain unclaimed mail all of that jazz so i will go ahead and just link you guys to that video in the info box down below just in case you want some more information on those mystery boxes or kind of what my experience was with that so today we are going to be taking a look at a we bargain amazon returns mystery box. Right off the bat, I will tell you guys that this box was sent to me by We Bargain themselves. I think that this is just called their premium Amazon return box, which retails for $125. They kind of imply that you would receive items in this box that you potentially could flip or resell and I'm just assuming if they're advertising something as a reseller box, they are implying that you would break even, like you would be able to take the items in the box and resell them for at least $125 or more. I don't know. The reseller thing is like kind of, I don't know, a gray area for me, in my opinion. If you buy liquidation lots or you buy mystery boxes, it's a total gamble. And sometimes it is like stuff in really bad condition, really broken condition and stuff that's just really gross. <laughs> so I once again have the gloves on today. Let's even find out how many items did we get? I think that the listing says 10 to 12 items. Did we get 10, 11, or 12? I don't know. Hang on a minute. Before we go any further, let's have a word from today's video sponsor. Take it away, sponsorship announcer. And that's also me, so take it away, me from the future. So today's video is once again sponsored by Vessi. Now, I'm sure you guys remember me talking about Vessi shoes a couple of months ago and how much I absolutely love them. Vessi shoes are the perfect shoes to just leave by your front door and you can just slide them on and they are perfectly ready to go on any adventure in any kind of weather situation. They are sustainably made and vegan and they're also made made out of a special material called Dymatex, which is a material that will keep you cool in the summer and warm in the winter. And the best thing about the material that these shoes are made out of is that they are completely waterproof. So it basically makes you like a little kid all over again. You can splash through puddles. If you are a student, like I remember when I was in college, like there would be puddles everywhere and stepping in puddles with normal tennis shoes is no fun. Your socks are gonna get wet and it's gonna be a mushy experience. But with shoes like Vessi's, you can just walk right through the puddles and your feet will still stay completely dry. They're comfortable, lightweight, and breathable. They are perfect for going on adventures, for traveling, or if you're somebody like me and you just love going for super long walks, you can just slide these on and it really doesn't matter the weather conditions. You can walk in them, be comfortable, cool, and dry. And they are also super easy to clean. If you get them dirty, you can just rinse them off with water and they are ready to wear again right away. So like I said, I have had Vessies in my life almost all year now. And we live in Texas. The weather can be super unpredictable here. So you can get caught in a random rainstorm. It can be super hot at the start of the day and really cool at night. And so Vessies are just the perfect shoe, like I said, to just keep by the front door. And no matter what the weather conditions are, I know that my feet will be comfortable 
and dry. So be sure and check out Vessi by clicking the first link in the info box down below and use my code BUNNY to get $25 off your Vessi shoes. So be sure to check them out in the info box down below. A huge thank you to Vessi for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to the video. The box was 12 pounds, so a little bit heavy in my opinion. And uh, let's just see what's in here. Right on the top of the box, we have peanuts. Quick guys, make a wish. Peanuts! These are like fluffy worms. You guys know how I always, worms, worms. This is like wishing worms. Also, I've heard some of these are edible. Don't eat these though. All right, I see. Black and Decker. Right on the, what? Oh my God, this this is wonderful. Ew, oh, oh. <gasps> okay, so it's definitely a return. Maybe this is a fire hazard, but I actually need a new iron. My other iron is crapping out fast. This is very neat looking for an Amazon return, to be honest. You can plainly see this has been opened and resealed. And uh, I would like to know why. Let's open it up and see the condition of the iron. It's clearly been used. Sometimes people get the item and they change their mind and they don't really use it or open it. They just return it for whatever reason. But sometimes the items are hella used looking. Now this looks pretty new. Maybe somebody used it once. Is it clicking? Oh, that's what's happening. I was like, what is the iron saying? Ugh. The cord is here. The base is here. It doesn't look like a potential fire hazard, but who knows? So that is also the other thing about Amazon returns is sometimes, you know, you can get items that look brand new and in brand new condition, but you'll try and like plug them in or charge them or turn them on or whatever, and then they don't work. So. I haven't plugged in the iron yet. I mean, right now, it looks like an iron, you know. All right, what is this? Oh, this is kind of gross, you guys. This is icky. Let me know how you feel about this. This is like the butt. This is, it's, okay. A Remington Body and Bikini Kit Plus. It's a uh, bikini shaver. And here we have it. It has definitely been opened. The seal has been opened. And look, I know some people think I overreact with stuff like this, okay? But I just don't want to get bathroom returns. You know, I mean, we all have different icky factors. You know, like I buy vintage shoes. I sanitize them. I'm fine with that. You guys know I'm big into thrifting, used clothes. The dress I have on right now is used and vintage, but if I can like wash it and sanitize it and stuff, then that's okay for me by my standards. But like a potentially used bikini shaver, that's just icky to me. I just would rather not. Now it does look kind of clean in there. Like I don't see any like visible hairs but it's still, it's still just icky. Okay, oh look, we have a, uh, a Rinfo Live Healthy, Live Smart, Smart Scale. Now, you guys, I'm starting to notice a little bit of a potential theme here. They actually do have an Amazon electronics box. I thought they just sent me the Amazon premium returns box, but I'm starting to notice kind of an electronic vibe here. Everything is like an appliance or it plugs in. Do you see what I mean? Like, it's not just like generic Amazon return merchandise, I guess. Let me know if you guys see that theme or am I completely off my rocker. So this is a smart scale. I don't know what's smart about it. This looks quite new. It even has this little thing here. Is this? for humans or like food? No, this is too big to be like a food, like a kitchen scale. I don't know. Is it gonna turn on? Do I have to charge it? This looks pretty, this looks pretty new. It has batteries. I might try and like turn this on in just a second. This seems, <gasps> maybe I could keep this in the filming room and weigh all my little fake babies on it. Um, all right, so this is 
maybe my favorite thing so far. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I've ever like actually used a scale in my life though. I'm not really like a, not really like a scale kind of person, except for when they forced me to do it at the doctor. Uh, all right. What the hell is this? X oxo x o why can i not say this o x o my god uh o x o brew now i do recognize this as like a pretty well-known kitchen appliance brand so this is a compact cold brew coffee maker i hope this little jar is in there because honestly even if i don't use the whole machine i would potentially just drink out of that little magic potion jar. So this looks, you know, really in good quality. I also have to say, I don't see anything about these items that is indicative that it is Amazon returns to me. Normally Amazon returns have like certain barcodes and they're items that are all like wrapped in a kind of plastic wrap. I'll try and like insert a clip from one of my past Amazon palette unboxing videos so you guys can see what I mean. So we have this on top. And I mean, sometimes items like this come sealed. Sometimes they don't, so who knows what's up with this? I don't know. Oh no, does it not come with the magic jar? I have to be honest, I've never made cold brew in my life. I just like pour my coffee over ice and I'm like, ta-da, cold brew. This looks kind of used, I don't know. This is the filter and it does look like there's water spots or something on it. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I don't know how I feel about it. Bean holder, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, here's my magical little jar. <gasps> oh no. Oh, I think it's like missing. Maybe that's why this was returned. <gasps> yeah, it's missing. It doesn't have like the little cork. Ew. Yeah, this has definitely been used. Ew. Yeah. I don't know. Used kitchen stuff. See, that kind of grosses me out. There's like water spots and stuff all over it. I mean, it's not, I'm sure it's not a huge deal. Like I have bought used mugs and stuff from the thrift store. Now I have to admit, I've never used them to drink out of, but I used to wash them and sanitize them and put like makeup brushes and stuff in it. I just don't know how I feel about like directly consuming something out of like something that's used, I don't know. You know, we all have thoughts, but I would plant like a cactus or a succulent in this. All right, up next, let's find out what is this? Cotton Terry mattress protector? Um, once again, you guys, anything that I think has intrinsic value to it, that looks like it's in pretty good condition, I am going to donate it. So this is called a Lucid, cotton terry mattress it looks kind of fuzzy kind of comfortable i'm trying to see what size it is king so it's supposed to protect against dust mites allergens and liquids and honestly you guys i think i'm just not gonna open this because i'm just gonna donate it it looks like it's packaged in there pretty well it doesn't look used i think somebody out there in the world would definitely use this more than I. I mean, I also don't really think there's just anything really to show you guys. I mean, it's just gonna look like a giant king size rectangle of white terry cotton mattress fabric. That looks like it's in pretty good condition. Oh, how? How could I get two hair trimmers in one dang thing? We have a wall, like a man hair clipper, I guess, short hair short hair well I mean anyone that wants short hair I just traditionally think of this as like the men's trimmer but look multi-purpose use ideal for the whole family I mean I guess anybody that likes to clip their hair obviously could use this let's open this and have a look this definitely looks like as if it's been resealed I'm probably gonna open this and there's gonna be hair on it unless somebody just changed their mind entirely. Ooh, who wants a haircut? How does this still have a charge? Um, so yeah, I really don't see any hair on it. I know people also like to use these on like pets and stuff. Like if they like to trim pet hair shorts. I mean, it looks like it has all the attachments. It doesn't look like super gross. And so, yeah, I mean, I feel like this is gonna be a great thing 
to donate. We have no one in this house with short hair. <laughs> this is not really gross to me. It's not like the bikini shaver, you know? That's gross. This is not really, especially since it's not like visually covered in other people's hair. I mean, I feel like it's the same as if you would like go to a barber shop or something. Like obviously they don't like bring out new <laughs> hair clippers like for every customer. So I feel like that's definitely an item that seems like it's in really good condition. That is, like I said in my last video, perfectly donatable. All right, you guys, um, this item, it is a baby monitor, right? Yeah, baby, I, a baby screen. That's what I keep wanting to call it. So this definitely has been opened and I hear some stuff going on there. So yeah, it, it oh, oh my God. What is on this? You guys, this has debris on it. Serious debris. I don't know about that, you guys. The actual monitor itself, though, still has the plastic wrap on it. I don't know. I'm not gonna fiddle with this too much. You know, I really, I have no use in my life for a baby monitor. So yeah, once again, I'm gonna donate it and I'm gonna hope that it works and that somebody out there can use a baby monitor. Up next, this is starting to come open, but it is an Oscar brand. Belgian waffle maker. What's the difference between a Belgian waffle and a normal waffle? Why do I not know? Um, you know, how used does it look? Cause I feel like also, you know, if you were gonna resell it, condition matters if it works. Oh my God, this has been hella used. Oh, there's like grease or something on it. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see, but it looks moist back there. It looks like somebody maybe like sprayed it with Pam or something and then sent it back or like washed it. Look at that. There's like literal liquidy looking oil. You guys let me know if I should donate this or if it is potentially a fire hazard. I mean, once again, if you go to the thrift store, every electronic is marked as is. Some thrift stores let you test out the items to see if they actually work or not. Some thrift stores don't let you do it. And you know, I mean, who knows what condition things arrive to at a thrift store. So different people think different things are gross. Different people like feel comfortable with using certain used items and some people don't feel comfortable using used items, so I don't know. Up next, we have a Elite Gourmet six cup capacity rice cooker. And I have to say this is something that I don't currently own, but you guys know I'm not much of a, a chef. So it looks like we have a lid here. It looks like it's in fine condition and here is the rice cooker doesn't really look used maybe somebody changed their mind maybe they bought the wrong size here's like the little thing it even has like the little spoon or whatever Ta -da. so yeah i mean on the surface i don't know if this thing works or not but i mean it looks clean it looks new, it doesn't look busted. I don't know why somebody would return this except for a million reasons. Um, all right, you guys, it looks like we have one last thing, which is once again, a little odd. Oh, it's all cracked and smashed anyway. So yeah, unfortunately this is garbage. I mean, I would kind of like have mixed feelings about this anyway, however, I do think that this is an actual Amazon barcode. I think I see this type of label on Amazon items all the time. So this is a Brita filter, five cup capacity pitcher. I think it does have a filter, but it's like completely cracked. Like I think if I were to actually try and put water in this, it would just leak out everywhere. So, Kind of a bummer, but I don't know. This, I would kind of categorize with the bikini shaver. Like I personally wouldn't really feel 
all that comfortable or great about drinking out of a potentially used Brita filter. Once again, maybe it's just a mental thing. I don't know. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can do some tabulations really quick, get a rough estimate value of what these items cost, and I will come back with a conclusion. All right, you guys, I did a little investigatoring and I went through and found each of these items on Amazon and I found out the price of what each of these items would be if they were in brand new condition. And our grand total did come out to be $338. Either I got really, really lucky with this mystery box or they did put together like a special influencer example of the types of items that you could potentially receive in these Amazon boxes. So I think obviously we would have to deduct some of the total out of this because the Brita filter is obviously completely broken, I would argue beyond use. The bikini shaver to me is just like really gross. Also, I couldn't believe that that retails for $38 brand new. The VTech baby monitor, I didn't really see another one of those baby monitors that looked like it only had one camera. So I don't know if mine is like missing a camera or if it would potentially work or not. I wrote down that we don't really know if the Belgian waffle thing is broken or not because it is wet. And this thing, I definitely know that it was supposed to come with a cork because you know, that's what you do is you make cold brew and then you leave it in the fridge. So you're supposed to have a cork for this bottle so that you can make your cold brew and then, you know, use it for several days in a row. So that is missing a piece. So I don't really know if most of this stuff, even if you were a reseller, could you actually get complete retail value for it? Like, for instance, the Black & Decker iron, I think that that was the most expensive device. I think that was like $60. You know, could you resell that for $60? Probably not, but I, I don't know. You know, I mean, is it a good iron? Maybe, I don't know. I haven't plugged it in yet. I, I Anyway, I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence with this one. I feel like the items were definitely in better condition than what I've personally experienced before with other Amazon return palettes. However, when I usually have bought Amazon return palettes in the past, I would pay somewhere in the neighborhood of like $150 to $300 and I would get way, way, way more items. Now, in those other liquidation palettes, I feel like you do get a lot of trash with a few good items in there, whereas this just seems to be all reasonably good not that broken items. I feel like with the liquidation return palettes, very, very rarely do you actually get like brand new, sealed, perfect condition items. Like that is few and far between no matter where you get the return palette from. I don't know, is this a box uh, similar to what other people are getting when they're buying a Wee Bargain? Uh, Amazon mystery box. You know, maybe if you are a reseller, do you feel like these would be good, you know, hot ticket items that you could potentially resell, that you could get really close to retail value on? Once again, I don't know anything. I don't know really anything about the reseller market other than I know people do it. So you guys, I would love to know y'all's thoughts and opinions on this week bargain box. Do you think that they gave me 
better items than what you would normally get in a Wee Bargain box. Let me know if you have ordered a Wee Bargain mystery box. Did you get it? If so, did it have good stuff in it? Did it have not so good stuff in it? This box I feel like went a lot smoother than last week's box. I feel like the quality of items in this Amazon box was much better than the quality of items in the undelivered mail mystery box. But once again, the company also has more control over what they sent me in this Amazon return box versus what they could have possibly sent me in the undelivered mailbox edition. However, once again, I did order a mystery box that I never got. So I don't know, you guys. It's it's all over the place. Just let me know all of you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. And uh, if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye!